Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer, everyone, on this Friday, the 8th of October. Uh, our Gospel reading this morning, there was one line in it that just made me pause and uh, made me think. Uh, Jesus says, a nation divided against itself will come to ruin. Um, now more than ever, I believe prayers for unity are needed. And not just for our country, but even in the church itself, there's so much division. You can look at the uh, bishops in Germany, and there's so much. They, they, they talk about staying part of the church, but they, they're pulling in, an, uh, in another direction. And, and uh, a schism might be the result of what's going on there. Uh, we need to really fervently pray. And, you know, I think between Holy Mass and the Rosary. Those are our two strongest and best weapons that we can use to pray for an end to strife, an end to division, and the beginnings of a unification of the human race, the children of God. Uh, we need to be more uh, in tune with our Creator, and less in tune with political and social uh, whims, and just we need to uh, stay focused on on who we are. So let us fervently begin a prayer for unity in our world, especially within our church. Let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God. Come to my assistance, Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Great is the Lord our God, transcending all other gods. Praise the name of the Lord, praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself and Israel for his possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Great is the Lord our God, transcending all other gods. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms to him, for he is merciful. Lord, your name stands forever unforgotten from age to age, for the Lord does justice for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, your name and your memory last forever. We stand to pray in your house and praise you with psalms of joy. We ask you in your kindness 
to have mercy on us in our lowliness. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms to him, for he is merciful. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers, count it pure joy when you are involved in every sort of trial. Realize that when your faith is tested, this makes for endurance. Let endurance come to its perfection so that you may be fully mature and lacking in nothing. Christ loved us and washed away our sins in his own blood. Christ loved us and washed away our sins in his own blood. He made us a nation of kings and priests in his own blood. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ loved us and washed away our sins in his own blood. The Lord has come to the help of his servants, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has come to the help of his servants, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. <coughs> because of our sins, the Father gave the Lord Jesus up to death, and for our justification, he raised him up again. Let us pray. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Hear our prayers and spare us as we confess our sins. Grant us forgiveness and peace. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Hear our prayer, prayers and spare us as we confess our sins. Grant us forgiveness and peace. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Your apostle said, Where sin abounds, grace abounds all the more. Forgive us our transgressions. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Lord, we have sinned, yet we have also acknowledged your infinite mercy. Bring us to conversion. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Save your people from their sins, Lord. Make them pleasing to you. Have mercy on your people, Lord. You open paradise to the thief who believed in you. Do not close the gates of heaven to the faithful departed. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, in your loving plan, 
Christ your Son became the price of our salvation. May we be united with him in his suffering so that we may experience the power of his resurrection in the kingdom where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Right, Joe?